Hi everyone, happy Sunday night to you. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna talk about black eyes. And uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos all across social media about their eyes turn black. So when I hear this, I watch some of the videos and because they're not spiritually discerned, they have all these psychological terms and brain connections and weird stuff, psychological humanism that they talk about because they don't have understanding of the things of the Spirit of God. So when you don't have understanding of the things of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you're going to have natural understanding and natural wisdom, which really is foolishness to God. So we want godly understanding. We want spiritual understanding of what happens and why are you seeing black eyes in people. And we're going to talk about that because a lot of people have experienced demonic people around them, whether it's your family or your friends or your spouse or your children, your parents. Uh, it could be anybody. You see demonic black eyes on them, you know. Listen, my eyes are dark brown. They ain't black, okay? When you see black, it's... When you see... Hey, Tony. Hey, Lori. Hey, Pam. Nice to see all of y'all on. So, uh, hey, you guys are jumping on. So, when you see these kind of things in someone, like, um, like in, their, in their eyes and in their face and stuff changing, I'm going to help you discern what it is you're seeing because the world is going to mess you up the world's going to have humanism and philosophies and they're going to have psychology and that's all demonic they have no understanding of the spirit realm which is like god that says that deep calls unto deep the realm of the spirit is completely different. And most Christians don't experience the realm of the spirit of God. Even Christians. Because so many Christians are cessationists. Hey, Marilyn, they don't believe in the gifts of the spirit. There's nowhere in the Bible that said the gifts of the spirit ceased. Mm -mm. No, no. Okay. But they listen to teachers their whole life saying the gifts of the Spirit died with the apostles. But we know that one of the gifts of the Spirit, I mean, none of them has ceased. Even Paul said, I, you know, I wish you spoke with tongues more, more than me. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's all over the Bible in the New Testament. The gift of tongues, you know, in Corinthians it talks about the gifts of the Spirit. So... When you operate in the gifts of the spirit, it's in a different realm of the spirit. It's in the supernatural realm. I ain't talking about these Christians that are wacko, okay? There's some wacko Christians out there, mm -hmm. especially in the NAR, New Apostolic Reformation. Listen, I'm spirit-filled. I'm spirit-filled. I believe in the gifts of the spirit, but I don't believe in the drunkenness spirit and all this wacko stuff, okay? Because I see some black eyes in there. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, April. All right. You guys are going to listen to me here now. Well, you don't have to. I don't know why y'all listen to me. But anyway, listen, I'm going to share this with you and I'm going to share a story with you. And it's a multiple of stories because when you walk with God a long time, there's something to say about that. I've been walking with God for 33 and a half years, almost 34 years this fall. It's a long time. Yeah, I got saved at two. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, listen to me. The Bible talks about de demons, okay? I mean, all throughout the New Testament, even in the Old Testament, the, God, the Lord talks about demons. In Mark 5, 9, Jesus even said, what is your name? He replied, my name is Legion, for we are many. That's several thousand demons in one body. So listen. Even Mary Magdalene, there, she had seven demons cast out of her in Luke 8, 2. This is serious stuff. You know, Mark 9, 17, somebody said, I brought my son to you. And he had a mute spirit. He had a spirit, a demon spirit that made him mute. There are lying spirits. Psalm 106, 37, the Bible talks about they sacrifice their sons and daughters to the demons. Mm-hmm. 
John 8, 44, Jesus said, you are of your father, the devil. And your, and, and your will is to do your father's desires. You, some people got lying spirits like the devil. He's a father of lies. Mm -hmm. There's a spirit of lies in people. So I'm going to get into the story. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. So I got a lot. I got a lot of stories. Okay. I got, I got like a lot. Okay. This has been like going on since I got saved. Demons manifested right in church. They will manifest in the church pews. They will manifest while I'm speaking or singing or leading worship. They will manifest right there and everybody gets to see it. Why do they manifest to me and not to others? How come some people can see it and others can't? Because some people have the gift of discerning of spirits in Corinthians, okay? It's one of the gifts of the spirit. It's a supernatural gift. You don't get to decide to get it. God says he gives severally as he wills. Just like the gift of tongues. You don't get to, you, you, it's not your decision to get it. When I got filled with the Holy Ghost, with speaking in tongues powerfully, God decided that. I wasn't chasing after the gifts. God decided that he was going to give me the gifts of the Spirit, word of knowledge. I, I Listen, God gives me the word of knowledge to equip me. For, it's for the edifying of the body of Christ. It's to equip me so that I can speak into someone's life. Okay, the word of wisdom, the same thing, because I do counseling, so the Holy Spirit will manifest. So let me tell you this story, okay? I, for a short time, dated a police officer from a city in Michigan that has a water problem. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what it is. So this guy entered into my life. Real nice guy. The pastors liked him. Everybody liked him. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what happened. He was reading his Bible. You know, he'd come over and read his Bible for hours at my house. You know, and he was a professing believer. Mm -hmm. And he was he was a detective for the police department, and he was like all into me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was putting on the charm. Mm -hmm. This guy would drive an hour and some minutes, okay, to see me almost every day. I don't care if it's 12 inches of snow. This guy was always visiting me, okay? Didn't care if it was five, six times a week. He was always wanting to be with me. I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help a lot of you. Good looking guy, built, muscular, tall. Mm. Fine, all right? Because see, that's how the devil comes in. He comes in fine. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, please. God, I will laugh at myself. The devil comes in looking fine. That's all I'm telling you. Cop. I like police officers because they always protect me. But a lot of them are evil too, but I got a lot of cop friends. Mm -hmm. Especially when I'm singing. When I'm singing, man, they surround me. When I go to events and sing the national anthem or God Bless America, man, they're surrounding me. Mm -hmm. They watch me like a hawk. They'll lay down their, their lives for me. That's how they are. So this guy wanted to marry me. We started looking at rings, right? One of my girlfriends says, why don't you ask him some questions before he gets you the ring? So I did. I was at Starbucks. Not the best place to go, I know, but listen. We're in the world, but not of the world. And if we just, because everything's evil, if we just say, well, boycott this and that, we'll end up not even working. <laughs> so listen, we're sitting in Starbucks. I ain't getting into that. We're sitting in Starbucks. I started asking him questions, you know, like, hey, what are you going to do? You know, I, my money, my house, my stuff. What do you got? Oh no. His eyes started turning black. Mm hmm. At Starbucks. His eyes turned black. And you could see the rage in him. Mm hmm. He says, You're a joy kill. That's what he told me. You're a joy kill. I said, Excuse me, because people don't talk to me like that because they actually respect me. 
They respect me as a woman of God. They respect the things that I do for God and the government and everything else. I get a lot of respect from everywhere, except the church, of course. But I get a lot of respect and honor. So I see this devil, man. I, his eyes turn black and I'm like... <laughs> what is in you? Like something is in this person. So listen. This guy's eyes turned black. That was the last night I ever saw him. I just want to, I, I'm not going to get into everything that happened, but that was the last night of me ever seeing him because I exposed the demonic in him. I saw it. And I was like, I was interrogating, man. I was like, and he did not like to be interrogated. And let me tell you something. People that are on the up and up in the truth, they don't mind you asking questions. The people that don't like to be asked questions are the liars and the con artists. The, that's why, ladies, I tell you, you better watch your stuff. Some guys are after your stuff. They're not after you. They're after mommy. They want you to be their mommy and their caretaker because they ain't got nothing to offer you. So y'all better watch it. Mm -hmm. Some guys, they ain't got nothing but debt, no home, no job, or broke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want your stuff. They want to come in and get your house and your that he told me that that night. I want my, I want my name on everything you got. I said, what do you got? 60,000 in debt. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I bet you do. Bye. Bye. His eyes turned black. So let me tell you about this people's eyes turning black, okay? When you see somebody's eyes turning black, it's because you are, you, they are manifesting. Okay, they're manifesting. Why do somebody's eyes turn black? Because they got demons inside of them. It's always 100%. Their eyes will turn black and they'll turn hollow. There'll be another entity inside of them, but you don't know what that is a different person because demons are persons, okay? They're spiritual beings that live inside of people. So when you see their eyes turn black, their eyes actually look hollow and dead. And the other person is taken over at that moment. They'll black out. They won't even remember. They'll be like, you're, you're crazy. That never happened. They'll literally black out. And when you tell them, hey, man, listen, you pushed me. You are trying to strangle me. You are screaming at me. You are hollering. You are cussing at me. You are lying to me. You are laughing at me. You are underhandedly putting me down. Like It could be a, a host of many things that they're doing, but they will not remember because the demons took over. Are you following me? That's why you are made out to be the crazy when April goes, oh heck no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen, when people, some of y'all wives or husbands, man, you got, you're married to some demons, okay? And then when they get into a rage with you, you ain't they ain't gonna remember nothing and so they gaslight you you know what that gaslighting is that narcissistic gaslighting like that never happened i never said that you're crazy i never pushed you i never said those words to you you're making stuff up that never happened we never practice witchcraft who are you an entire your entire family could be demon possessed mm -hmm. Listen, I don't know how to help you on this. Matthew 9, 32, as they were going away, behold, a demon oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. It's mute. People that can't talk. Mm -hmm. And listen, these people hate you inside. When you see their eyes go black, they actually hate you. They have an agenda. And the agenda is to steal, kill, and destroy from you. <laughs> you. Have you ever had, listen, I had a girlfriend, 20, 20 years girlfriend, and she wasn't saved. I was always trying to get her saved. I kept her in the outer court. And she used to always ask me, do I have, a, do I have any demons? 
And I never saw it in her until the end when I went on a vacation with her for a couple of days. I couldn't sleep because a demon in her wanted to strangle me and I could see it in an open vision because the gift of discerning of spirits is supernatural. Mm -hmm. Those people hate you. She ended up hating me after 20 years of loving me. Mm -hmm. Because I saw the demon finally in her. Once you see the demon, once they're exposed and they know that you know that they're in there, in their body, even your parents, even your mother, even your father, even your brothers or your sister, your husband or wife. Once you know, once you recognize and that demon starts manifesting, that's why the world doesn't know what it is. The world thinks it's psych psychology, you know, like, uh, you know, multiple personality disorder or schizophrenia or, you know, PTSD, whatever it is. It is demons inside the person, inside of them, not outside attacking them, inside their body. So when they manifest to you, that's when they turn on you and you become their enemy. They call it nar narcissistic abuse, but it's actually a Jezebel spirit. So when you see, like I just saw a picture of somebody in my family that was sent to me and in their eyes, it was black and hollow, and I saw the demon in the picture. Mm -hmm. Freaks me out. Somebody, blood, freaked me out. But guess what? I can't tell anybody because they, they think I'm crazy because they ain't saved. They don't understand the things of the Spirit. You can't share this stuff with just anybody. Do you guys understand this? When you got the gift of discerning in spirits in Corinthians... You can see stuff in people and when they're, listen, the demons know you see them and they will lay dormant for a time. They can lay dormant for years. That's why you hear about murders, you know, like um, Lacey Peterson in California. Everybody loved her husband. She was pregnant with child. The guy had a sweet voice, nice demeanor, real soft spoken. He killed her and the baby. He played the whole thing off like he was the mourning husband and he was the murderer. But how do they date for years? How do they get pregnant? How do they have kids? Like, how do they do this whole life and all of a sudden somebody turns on them? Somebody literally, their husband or wife or spouse or family member takes the gun and shoots the whole family. Or the pastor that kills his whole family. Listen, y'all. I was going to a church, a mega church here in this area. The past, and I was married at the time, the pastor and my ex, they all lied together, but the pastor's sons, one of the sons, they're all possessed by demons. One died of alcoholism, but he slept with all these women and got them drunk and sex while he's married in the ministry. The other son is in jail. For sexual raping, molestation of women, the other son cheated on his wife. Like the entire church, mega church, mega church, mega church had demons going in every person. But he was like Eli the priest, you know, in the Old Testament with the seven sons that came under total judgment because they were having sex with the temple prostitutes and they just papooed it. So the demons came into the church, into the pastors. Who's following me? This was all over the news. And my spiritual mother at the time prophesied. She had a word of knowledge from God. She had a word of prophecy. And because my ex was beaten on me, beaten on me, arrested multiple times, and the, this pastor lied. These pastors, one by one, were lying on the court stand in the courts of law. And my spiritual mother said, your church is going to collapse because of what you did to Yasmin. Six months are all over the news. Listen, you guys, this realm of the spirit is real. When you see dark eyes in people, when you see black, hollow eyes in people, some of y'all having sex with these people, you see black, hollow eyes. 
Mm -hmm. You're in disobedience to God. Maybe you're just kissing on them, making out with them, and then all of a sudden, the black eyes show up. You see, you look at their face and you're kissing on them. All of a sudden, you see empty, hollow eyes. Mm -hmm. Hollow, empty. See, when you're filled with the Spirit, your eyes ain't hollow. Your eyes got life in them. Uh, if your eyes are pure, your entire body will be full of light. But when your eyes are evil, your whole body will be full of darkness, the Bible says. So when you see darkness, when you see this in someone's eyes, their entire body is full of darkness. They are immoral. They're impure. They're full of rage. Have you ever been with somebody and they're going to a rage and all of a sudden their face changes and they look, their eyes turn black? Mm-hmm. That's because they're demons. That's why God says in Galatians, outbursts of people that have outbursts of anger, they're not going to go to heaven unless they repent. God takes it very, very seriously. Outbursts of anger says you ain't going to heaven. You got sin in you. And when you, when you operate like that until you completely repent and are delivered, really saved you need to you need salvation because self-control is a fruit of the spirit outbursts of anger means you don't have no self-control matthew 8 16 that evening they brought to him many who were oppressed by demons and he cast out the spirits with the word and healed all who were sick god's desire is for you not to marry people that have demons even in your family, let's say, you know, you got, there's a lot of problems right now going on in families all over the world, in marriages, and friendships, okay? People that are spiritually mature are, are mentally mature and sound. People that are mentally not sound are spiritually immature, okay? They, they got a lot of openings. And when you connect with somebody with chinks in their armor, the devil will get on them. That's why y'all better be careful who you yoke up with. If they got openings in their life that are not dealt with, that devil is going to jump on them and come after you. Because you are the target. Mm -hmm. You are Satan's target. When you get so lonely that you're, you're tired of being alone, you got to marry somebody because you're getting older. Mm-hmm. And you're serving God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul. you got to call a God on your life. And Satan will send somebody right in. Just like when I saw that cop I was dating and his eyes turned black. That was it. Because that guy would have destroyed me. And when I found stuff on the internet about him that his daughter said. That he would just break stuff on her and bring home women that were drunk from the bars and all this stuff all over the internet. God spared my life because I listened to him. Because see, you can't see things that God can see unless he gives you the gifts of the spirit. Mm -hmm. When he gives you open visions and he shows you stuff about somebody, y'all better listen. I'm going to share one thing with you. I had a guy that I was talking to that was interested in me. And he was crying when we we're sharing our testimonies, crying on the phone. I love Jesus so much. I love him. I'll do anything for him. I love hearing testimonies. He's crying on the phone. And he's with his daughter in Florida at a dance event. Mm -hmm. He goes, hey, listen, I got to go. There's a, you know, I'll call you in the morning. I'm walking through my house. Y'all, y'all, y'all better listen because these demons are in people. That's why you see black eyes. That's why you see their faces contorted. Y'all better listen to what I got to say. This is, going to sh this is going to spare your life. You guys got a lot of problems because you're trying to associate with demon spirits and trying to love on them. They don't want your love. They want to control you. They got a Jezebel spirit. They want to, they want to destroy you. They want to shut your mouth to the calling of God you got. They want to shut down your ministry. They want to kill you. Are you following me? This is not a game. This is not a game. 
Demons and angels are real. Your friends that have demons hate you. Satan's got your friends around you that got demons. They hate you. They ain't your friends. They're pretending like Judas. Judas turned Jesus in with a kiss. He said, you betray the son of man with a kiss, with affection. Y'all have people around you showing you affection. <clears throat> and they're about to, they're about to kill y'all. Uh, this ain't not a game. That's why you keep seeing on the news because, because wickedness will abound. The love of many will grow cold, but those that endure to the end shall be saved. Wickedness is abounding and y'all are sitting there playing with the devil. Psst. He's about to kill some of y'all. Some of y'all about to be on the news. Some of you guys think your parents can't hate you. Do you understand? You know, a, a police officer friend last night was telling me about this one lady. She killed her newborn. She threw him up, probably eight months old, against the wall because it was crying too much. Threw him up against the wall and decapitated him. Y'all think your parents ain't going to kill you? If not by words, by spirit, or by a gun, y'all think how ignorant are you? Do you want to stay ignorant? Y'all think your husband or wife can't kill you? And you're seeing the news, but the church idolizes marriage above the safety of your life? Oh, don't get divorced. Some of y'all are stupid to not get divorced. Some of y'all are just dumb, all out stupid, spiritually ignorant, and you're staying and you're listening to these pastors at the church or some preacher on YouTube while they're getting, you're getting beat up and stalked. And these people are demon possessed and you see them with black eyes and, and you're praying to God. Loving on them, cooking for them, while they're setting up on how to poison you. Mm -hmm. How to take you out with their knives and guns. Debbie says, family is your worst enemy. Let's talk about that for a minute. You better be careful who you're yoking up with, because some of them got guns sitting waiting for you. Poison sitting waiting for you. Your family? <laughs> Let's talk about family. All throughout the Bible, Cain killed Abel. Joseph's seven brothers hated him, put him to the pit. Absalom wanted to kill his own father. Delilah. Mm -hmm. Samson loved the Philistine prostitutes, man. And y'all are dating prostitutes. The Philistines. And <laughs> it's going to cost you your eyes and your life. It's going to cost you everything, but you won't listen to God. Your family, listen, some of them are so demonic. In Sodom and Gomorrah, when the angels came to deliver Lot and his family, the son-in-laws made fun of him, got destroyed. Satan Lot got destroyed. Mm -hmm. Lot's wife? We don't know her name. Lot's wife, when they were running from when, with the angels away from the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, they're running Lot, the angels, and his two daughters and his wife. The wife turned around because she loved, she loved it. She loved the ways of the world. I can't imagine being married to somebody like that. Oh, yes, I can. Excuse me. <laughs> she loved being married to the world. She, Her heart was back in, in, in the world, in perversion. She didn't mind perversion. So when they left Lot, she looked back. But do you know? Do you ever think about Lot and the daughters could not even look at, the daughters couldn't even look at their mother being destroyed? They had to trust God. Let the mother be destroyed. 
My stomach is... Do you hear that? That's my stomach. So God's like, let it... Don't look back at Lot's wife being killed. Judgment of God on her. Don't look at her. They couldn't even see their mother coming under fire and break, turning into a pillar of salt. They couldn't even look at her. If they looked back, they would have been destroyed. They had to let go of her too. Lot couldn't even look at his wife. Like he had to leave Sodom. His wife was back. So we don't know how it happened. We don't know if the fire and brimstone, like she was lagging behind or what happened. But they couldn't even look back at, their, at his wife or the daughters look at her mother being destroyed under God's judgment. Was she destroyed because she was a woman of God? No, she was destroyed because she loved and missed and longed after the perversions of the world. And that's what some of y'all family members are doing, including your mama, your daddies, your siblings, your children. And you're trying to tell them God's judgment is coming and they ain't listening to you and they're railing against you and they say you're crazy. And you've seen some of them cussing you out and their eyes turning black and all this stuff going on. Their eyes are turning black because they got demons. That's why their eyes turn black. They don't want you around them. They don't want to hear about Jesus. They don't want to hear you're a Jesus freak. You are crazy. But you're the same one. They're going to die and go to hell and they don't care. They love evil. They're raging against you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? You can't love demons out of people. Okay. When you see their eyes turning black and they start manifesting, it's because now they have revealed who they are to you. And now you are the full-blown enemy. And they are going, you, they're coming after you. They're going to turn every family member against you. They're going to start a smear campaign about you. You, listen. This is spiritual warfare. Daniel 10, 13, the Bible says the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. But Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me for I was left there with the kings of Persia. This is spiritual warfare you're facing. Daniel faced it in the Old Testament, but the true people of God, the remnant church, that is really serving God and sold out. You're going to have all kinds of demons trying to get you at the end times. They're not, they're not going to, listen, they ain't playing with you. They'll come in through anybody that's available around you. And it's usually the closest people around you. Listen, we're at a time, your friends are turning on you. Longtime friends are turning on you. Because you're full of demons and hatred. They don't know what the Bible says about loving one another. Mm -hmm. Forgiving. They don't know what that means. Because they're not of you. They're not of the spirit of the living God. They're not born of the spirit of God. They don't know what forgiveness is. They don't know what kindness is. They don't know the gifts of the spirit. Or I'm sorry, the fruit of the spirit. They don't have it. They're religious. They're powerless. Your family is turning on you because they don't know God. If they knew God, they would love you. They don't love you because they hate God. They love the, their God of this world. They, that's who they love, the God of this world. The prince of the power of the air that now works in the children of disobedience. They love evil. They hate you. They think you're crazy and judgmental. Uh-huh. It's going to get worse. It's getting worse. Especially, you know, with that new principal that's hired, that transgender in Oklahoma. They're going to make it illegal for us to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Put us in jail as hater, haters. Your family too. The Bible says brother will put brother to death. Children will rise up against their parents and parents against their children. They'll put them to death. They're going to put him to death. You're trying to fix something that you cannot fix. 
When you see black eyes in someone, when you see demon possession in someone, when you see another entity in someone's eyes and hollowness, that's because they're getting ready to come after you. And you're trying to love them. You're trying to love the devil out of them. It ain't going to work. Yeah, there's people in churches full of full on demon possessions. There's pastors. I just told you what I went through earlier in this talk of all the pastors being demon possessed, molesting, raping all the women, getting them all drunk. The same church that collapsed, mega church here where I, where I used to go to, all over the news. Demonic pastors. Great preaching from the pulpit. Demons running the entire church. Y'all better listen up. We cannot walk in the flesh. We have to walk in the spirit. Those that, those that walk in the spirit, they're the children of God. You see, in the natural, people that are natural are of the world. Even Christians, professing Christians, are of the world. But people that walk in the spirit, we see the things that are not natural. We see stuff that is not natural by the human eye. I can see stuff on people in pictures, a hundred feet away from me, on the pulpits, friends around me. I can I, I can tell you who's possessed around me because they manifest. It's a gift of discerning of spirits. It's a gift of God that He gives. Because listen, we're at the end. We're at the end of the age. We are at the end. We are seconds away from the trumpet blast. Moments, seconds away. This is not the time to play with demons. If your mother is full of demons and she doesn't like you, or your dad is full of demons and he doesn't like you, and there's total destruction, treat them like Lot's wife. Don't look back. Honor them, but do not collaborate with them mm -hmm. yeah there's people in the bible that wanted to kill each other siblings and parents and sons and daughters yeah nothing new under the sun but y'all are trying to love the demons out of me it can happen what about your children that are demon possessed what about your siblings what about your best friends mm -hmm. they treat you a certain way because they hate you and you're trying to get them to like you and prove that you're worth loving and supporting and that you love God and, that, you know, support your ministry, support your calling, support your love for God. But they don't hear like you hear. They don't hear the things of the Spirit. They don't hear the voice of God. They don't hear the things of God. They don't have God. That's why they don't talk like you talk because they don't have the same Spirit of Jesus. It's a counterfeit Jesus. And the counterfeit Jesus is demons in people. The Antichrist spirit. And you're trying to love people around you with black eyes, black souls, black hearts in the church, in your family, your friends, your siblings, your parents. Come out from among them. God told Abraham to leave everything that he had, his family, everything. He was, listen, Abraham was a rich man, very wealthy. He wasn't a pauper, but God told him to pick up everything and leave enti his entire family and everything. Leave, get out to a land where God was making for him. And some of you guys are just sitting there in your same area, your same family, demonic family, demonic spouses. Some of y'all are going to get cancers and all this stuff under those relationships stress causes diseases and satan wants to kill you and you're married to him and you're trying to have thanksgiving and christmas with them and whatever you want with them you're going to funerals and weddings and you can't stand them because they hate you so much but you're trying to collaborate with demons to try to keep peace the bible says blessed are the peacemakers not the peace keepers you're it's twisted How can light and darkness, what does that have in common? 
Righteousness and unrighteousness, nothing. They're your enemies. They're the enemies of the cross of Jesus Christ. They got blackness in their eyes. They got demons in them. They got witchcraft, divination, sorcery, demonic spirits, counterfeit spirits, demonic counterfeit Holy Spirit. You know, they're, they're in different religions that you want nothing to do with because you defy the God of heaven. If you keep doing this, you're trying to get along with the Philistines in your own family with your own spouse that's abusing you. Listen, if you're with a spouse that supports your Christianity and loves you and stuff, the Bible says if, you're, if they're fine to stay with you and you're married to an unbeliever and they don't abuse you and you're good, that's good. If you became a believer, you know why you married them? But some of y'all are just killing your life. You're living with them and you used to serve God. Now that you got all these soul ties. Uh-huh. The Bible says, shall Christ join himself with the harlot? Because two will become one flesh. That's a soul tie. I know the word soul tie is not in the Bible. But will Christ join himself to the harlot? The two shall become one flesh, the Bible says. And y'all... Got these people with black eyes, black souls, black hearts, degenerate, unregenerated by the power of God, perverted, looking at porn, perverts. That's what they're called, perverts. Uh-huh. Peepers, eye peepers, looking through windows, looking through their phones, peeping at naked people. They're called perverts. And y'all are like, oh, these are Christians with strongholds. No, they're perverts. And they're not going to heaven. If you know God that way, you'll get saved for real. God doesn't play around. He doesn't minimize sin. And he doesn't preach tolerance. He ple preaches repentance. And y'all are making excuses for people that God can't stand. He said even the prayers of the wicked are an abomination to him. Yeah. Yeah. Prayers from people that are not saved from different religions. He says an abomination to him. And you're like joining in with prayers from all these different religions. And you're praying with people that are different religions and they ain't even saved. You're trying to make a Jesus, your own Jesus. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You should be trembling. You understand? You should be trembling. Because you're one heartbeat away from eternity and you're seeing and you're yoking up with black eyed people. Demon possessed people, dark souls, dark eyes go into rages. How many times have I seen black eyes in people a lot? They go into rages and they and you see a demonic entity, people that are drunk. They they you see the demons manifest in them, people that are drug addicts, you their eyes turn black. They black out. They don't remember anything they said or did. As the demons take over. People that hit you. People that are strangling you. People that are having violent sex with you. That are slapping you. That are punching you. That are getting you drunk. You're so broken that you keep being around these people. You're, you got demons too. You're around these men that strangle you while you have sex with them. You got men that put chokeholds around you while they're having sex with you? You got men that want you to choke them while they're having sex? Because they're possessed. They're possessed. Love does not hurt. Demons hurt. You got, you got women around you that are slapping you while they're having sex? Men slapping you while they're having sex? Those are demon powers. Black eyes, black hearts, black souls. Y'all are going to haunted houses coming up Halloween? That's blackness. Reserve darkness. That's what Jude talks about. These are wells without water. And y'all are hanging around with people that have wells without water. Watching porn with them while you're married? Because you ain't saved. 
Who watches porn that's saved with their spouse? Nobody. Because you ain't saved. Mm-hmm. Y'all having threesomes with people and orgies and swingers in churches? Oh, yeah, it's going on everywhere. Black hearts, black eyes, black lives. Inside your spirit. You ain't saved. Love in the darkness, hating the light. I'm done. I think I'm done. Jeremiah 17, 9, the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? Y'all are dating Philistines, unsaved people, and you don't even have discernment to see if they're saved because something's wrong with you. It's going to, if you pray to God, God will show you. But deception is powerful. You got to pray, Lord, show me that I'm not self-deceived because this is a trap. Satan's coming in for traps. He ain't coming in to bless you. There ain't nothing good about this world. There ain't nothing good about the people of this world. There is nothing in this world that you should want. This world and everything in it is passing away. It's going to get burned. This life is all about the kingdom of God and salvation and souls. This is all we're living for. There ain't nothing else. Nothing. That's why people during Noah's time, the entire inhabitants of the earth, every living creature and every living thing was destroyed except eight people and some and the animals, some animals. In Lot's day, only three people survived. He, he destroyed five cities. Sodom, Gomorrah, and the three surrounding cities. As in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. As in the days of Lot, so shall it be with the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage and buying and selling and everything. And suddenly, the flood came. Suddenly, these are suddenly moments that judgment is coming on people. If it's not the tribulation that you're left behind it is going to be in your own life. Judgment of God is coming on you. The wrath of God sits on every person that is not born again of the Spirit of God. And God is calling you right now. Under, Shouldn't you be trembling right now? You that are possessed by demons. You that, have, that are perverts. You that are drunkards. You that are, that are, that are liars. You that are religious. You that have bitterness in your heart, unforgiveness, you know, you have a religious spirit, but you don't have love for the body of Christ and repentance and reconciliation, slander, backbiting. The judgment of God is coming on all those that sin against God and are rebellious, even in the church. Majority of the church is going to get left behind. And you're just sitting there listening to your lukewarm pastors that are going to send you to hell in your lukewarm, nasty churches. Because you don't care about the things of God because it's too much for you, too judgmental. Well, how's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Too judgmental? People of God too judgmental? Pastors too judgmental? How's that working out for you? How's your lukewarm, lackadaisical, powerless Christian life? How's that working for you? At what moment will you repent so you stop yoking up with black-souled, black-eyed people that are full of demons and emptiness with the cares of this life? I know this is hard. When you married them, some of y'all married them. Some of y'all got friends like them and you think you can love them out. Listen, people, you can't change nobody. They ain't going to change. You can't change your parents. You can't change your siblings, your kids, your spouse, your pastor. You got to step out. 
Come out from among them. Separate yourself, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing. Then you will become sons and daughters of the Most High God. There is a kingdom that is not of this world. This kingdom is above the heavens and the heavens and the heavens. That's above all the galaxies. Where Christ dwells and sits at the right hand of God and he's got authority over all things in heaven and in earth. He is the Lord of the armies of heaven. And he's coming to execute judgment and wrath on this earth. It's looming over this entire earth. And we are seconds away from this. Do you want to be left behind? Do you want to be in the seven year tribulation where if the days were not shortened, there would no flesh that would be saved. But because of the elect's sake, the days were shortened. Because you like demonic people and you let other people distract you in your own family or marriage from the things of God. Listen, demons are working through everybody around you. Do you understand? They're out to get you because they hate Jesus and they love Satan. Bottom line, they love Satan. They love darkness and God is going to destroy the entire the inhabitants of the earth for seven years. Massive judgment is coming. The church age is over. It's coming to an end. It's time for you now to get into the ark. The ark. The ark is Jesus Christ. The ark is the blood of Jesus. It's time for you to repent of your fornications, of your adulteries, of your darkness, of your, of your perversion of your lies, of your anger, of your gossip, of your slander, of your hard-heartedness. You're not doing nothing for the kingdom of God. Nothing. You ain't even doing the Great Commission. You ain't going into all the world and preaching the gospel. You ain't making disciples of all nations. You're not baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus you are living for yourself, your children, your family, your job, your money. I don't care what it is. You are lost. You are lost. And it's time to repent tonight at the foot of the cross. Get right with God. Surrender your life to him. Die to yourself. Your agenda. Your desires. Your ways. Your everything. Your family your children, your own life. You must hate everybody, including your own life, to become his disciple. You gotta take up your cross and follow him. You gotta deny yourself. But guess what? Most of y'all ain't denying yourself. It's all about yourself. Me, myself, and I. What do I want? What is my desire? What is my, what do I want? And that's why you're gonna get left behind because you're not his disciple. You're religious and you're a phony. You're a fake. Come on, you're a fake. You ain't w willing to forsake your family for the gospel. You're afraid of offending them. You ain't willing to give it all up. You're holding on to whatever you can. You're a fake. See, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're going to say what the Holy Ghost says and you don't have the fear of man. But because you're a fake, you got the fear of man. If you're a man pleaser, you can't be a God pleaser. It ain't going to happen. You're a fake. You need to repent today. Today. Today is the day of salvation. If you wait till tomorrow, your heart gets harder. You got a potty mouth. Mm -hmm. you're, you got lying spirits. You got all kind. You, you're a drama queen, whether you're a man or a woman. You're always starting drama with people, your family. You're a liar. You got to lie to people all the time or here and there. You ain't telling people the truth about what you really did behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. It's everybody else's fault. You're a fake. You don't, you don't have that love. You don't even know the things of the spirit. You're dead. You're a lukewarm dead inside. You don't know the things of God. That's why people like me, people like my pastor, you can't stand people that are true Christians that are going to call you out because you're full of pride and arrogancy. And you're, you don't tremble. 
You're not scared of God. So anyways, I'm done. If you want to be saved, you got to repent tonight. You got to repent right now. You want the Holy Ghost? You better start repenting. The real Holy Ghost, not the fake tongues, not the flesh tongues, not the religious, arrogant, prideful, fake, humbleness Christians that I see so much of. Lying to yourself. Lying to others. You are deceived. It's dark over here. I'm sorry now. It's really dark. But anyways, I love you. This is why I share stuff with you. You better stay. You, if you got black eyes, I got dark brown eyes. I'm talking about demonic black eyes. You ain't saved. You got rage, black eyes coming out, face changing, could, could, like, woo, hollowness. You ain't saved. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You can't be, you can't have a demon and be saved. I don't care what these fake movies out there are coming out saying. You can be a Christian and have a demon. No, you can't. If you got demons, you ain't saved. The Bible said your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit where God resides. Period. Not where demons reside, where God resides. So if you got black eyes and you got people around you with black eyes, y'all better get out. You better get out because they're gonna they're gonna steal, kill, and destroy you. Period. It ain't gonna get better. It's not gonna get better. It's so dark in here now. I don't know how to make it light. Do you understand? I love you. I gotta go. It's already been an hour, <laughs> almost an hour. You cannot be around people that are possessed. You can't. If you're married to them, you better get out. You think you're going to rescue them? Mm -mm. They're going to kill you. They're going to murder you. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Kill, 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 kill. Steal, 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 steal. Destroy, 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 destroy. You're married to them. You're trying to love the devil out of them. You got families and children and parents like that. You're going to try to love the devil out of them? <laughs> They're going to kill you. That's your agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done. I love you. Get away from black, black souls, black eyes, black spirits, darkness, darkness, degenerate spirits, demon possession. Pray for them. Get away from them. Protect yourself. God bless you.